What's up guys, I'm Chirag and welcome to this video tutorial. So guys, as we know that recently AWS has announced Amazon EC2 Mac instances that will basically allow you to build and test Mac OS, iOS, iPad OS, TV OS and watch OS application, right? So the instance that they have launched is mac1.metal, right? So in this tutorial, I'm going to take you through how to launch a Mac instance and login or SSH into that instance. Right. So let's get started. Assuming that you already have logged in into AWS Management Console, click on EC2 service and navigate to EC2 Management Console. And once you are there, click on launch instance, say launch instance. Now here, as we can see that two new AMI has been added, right? That is Mac OS Catalina and Mac OS uh, Mojave. Right, so we are going to select the latest one that they provide that is basically 10.15.7. So select that. And in step two, we will get only one instance uh, that we will be able to select that is Mac one, that is Mac one dot metal type, right? So at this point of time, this is the only instance that support the Mac operating system. So select that, say next configure instance details. Right. So now uh, basically Mac instances are available in dedicated host form. So we need to allocate a host and this is going to be a little different than launching a regular EC2 instance, I would say. So here in step three, if we leave everything as it is, if I say next add storage, then it's going to throw an exception saying choose a host, right? So at this point of time, I don't have any host. So we need to create one, but before we move on with the creation, uh, just keep in mind that you cannot delete it for a period of 24 hours and it's going to impact the cost, right? So keep that thing in mind. So now click on allocate a new host. It will redirect you to the dedicated host screen. And here you need to configure a few details and you need to click on allocate. Right? So give it a name. I will say Mac host. Now you need to choose the instance family. So select Mac from the list. So that's going to be Mac one, right? And at this point of time, we will check this box, support multiple instance type, and we will see what happened. Within availability zone, uh, select maybe US list one A, or you can select uh, any availability zone you want. So I'm going with US list one A, right? Instance auto placement, say enable. You want the host recovery, you can check this box. If not, then leave it as it is. Quantity one, right? And we are done. Now, if I go ahead and click on allocate, then it's going to throw an exception saying the instance family Mac one is not supported. The reason is that we have checked this support multiple instance type checkbox. So we need to disable this and as soon as we disable this, it will provide us a new option saying instance type. So from instance type, select mac1.metal. And now I think we are good to go. So say allocate. Now again, it might throw an exception saying we currently do not have sufficient mac1.metal capacity in availability zone you requested. So what you need to do is you need to change the availability zone to some other apart from US East 1A. So let's go with US East 1B and say allocate. Now again, it says insufficient capacity. So what you need to do is change the availability zone. Let's select US East 1C and say allocate. And it is created, right? And we are good now. Now we can go back to the launch instance wizard and click on this refresh button. And here you will see an option uh, that is the dedicated host that we have just created. So select that and say next add storage. We will leave storage as it is. Say next add tags, add a tag if you want. Configure security group. Now here we will create a new security group saying Mac hyphen SG. And here by default, it does not provide port 22. So we will explicitly mention that so we will select custom TCP, TCP protocol, port 22 and source from anywhere. And we will say review and launch and say launch. So here I'm going to create a new key pair. I will say Mac and I will say download key pair. 
and say launch instance. You can obviously select the existing key pair if you have one, right? So I just created a new one. Now the instance is spinning up. As you can see, the instance type is mac1.metal. So let's wait till the instance is in running state. In the meantime, what I will do is I will navigate to the downloads and change the permission of the PEM file that I have downloaded. So I will say ch mode 400 mac.pem correct now since our instance is in running state let's select the instance copy the public ipv4 address navigate to terminal and we are going to do ssh hyphen i hyphen i stands for identity file which is our identity file so in my case it's mac.pem followed by the username so within mac instance by default the username is going to be ec2 hyphen user okay so this is your username by default at the right followed by the domain uh, that can be public ipv4 dns or it can be public ipv4 ip address so i would copy the ip address now say enter so now as you can see, uh, after trying multiple times, now finally I'm able to log in into that instance. So we will say yes. And we are in. So we have a logo of Apple, Amazon EC2, Mac OS, Catalina 10.15.7, right? And here we are. So well, uh, this is how you can spin up the macOS instance that is mac1.metal and this is how you can log in or SSH in the, this instance, right? Uh, but uh, as you can see, I have tried multiple times to log in or SSH into this instance, right? So maybe it's taking a while to, to get ready, right? So after you see the instance in running state, uh, you might need to wait for some time to successfully log in into this instance, right? So I tried it uh, maybe four to five times and then finally we are in. Now there could be a question that how we can access the GUI, right? So, well, uh, that is something I will cover in the next tutorial. So guys, that is how you can spin up the macOS instance and SSH into it and get started with the development as I mentioned earlier. And well, that's it for now. And as usual, if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service, then please leave them below and I will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible. And if you have any queries or comments, then again, please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time.